Hey everybody, this is Dave. Last week I made a video about the pogo plug. That's this video here. I'll put the link in the description. And what I did was I connected a bunch of drives to the pogo plug. It's a little unit here. And what you do is you can click connect SATA 3, uh, USB sticks, SD cards, hard drives, you know, that are high capacity. And you can view all this on your Mac or Windows PC. Uh, you get drives that show up in shared. Uh, you you go into Finder and you could see that you have all the drives listed here that are connected to the Pogo plug. Now the reason why I'm making this video today is because there was a bunch of questions that people had that I like to answer. And also I want to show you how to connect uh, these drives that are not physically connected to your PC. Uh, and you have the Plex Media Server running. How you can use these drives that are not even connected to your computer, they're in the network, and how to use it with Plex. Uh, and it works pretty good because there's a lot of people that are having problems with streaming media to their iOS app or their Mac uh, because there's some format issues. And then every time you try to run video uh, from the Pogo plug, you get some delay and there's, so, you know, it, it takes a long time. It doesn't work that great. So let me show you how to use. Uh, if you want multimedia uh, from your personal drives that are connected to your Pogo plug, I'm going to show you how to run it through um, Plex. So here we have uh, three hard drives connected to the Pogo plug. One has all my music. The other one has uh, documents and PC apps, Mac apps. And then I have all my pictures, uh, big gigantic files. And then I have a, a hard drive, the HP hard drive. It's a large capacity hard drive. It has classic movies, classic TV, uh, my movies, my TV shows, my kids' TV shows, and and uh, my kids' movies. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, connect it to Plex now. Now I have my son's computer uh, with the Plex server installed, and I also have the backup, free backup software that Pogoplug gives you. And the reason why you need the free backup software is because once you install this app, or program, uh, you'll be able to view all of your drives in Finder or Windows Explorer. It's necessary. Without this backup software, uh, you don't get to see your drives. The other thing is I have the Plex Media Server here on my son's um, computer. That's a Mac Mini that's upstairs. And yes, you still need a PC, but you at least don't have to have hard drives connected via USB. Uh, to the actual computer that you're using for the server. So I have nothing set up here right now. So I'm going to set up a section and I'm going to select movies. I'm going to add a folder and now you'll see here, here's your Pogo plug. That is a network drive. It's not connected to any, any of these drives are not connected to a computer. They're connected to the Pogo plug. So then you see my three hard drives in here. I have my movies in here. So I'm going to go to dad's movies these are my movies and I'm gonna hit add and what's gonna happen is I like to use advanced and I go to uh, the movie database because that's the uh, the website that you find here the IMDB website and this has this is where I get all my information every time I uh, get a torrent I search on here for the movie and I get the exact title and the exact uh, year that the movie was made so that when Plex looks into uh, the media that you have in this hard drive uh, and you have the correct title and year it will find the artwork for you perfectly so all right so I have the network uh, volume uh, it's pogo plug and it's the external uh, HDD that's my uh, HP hard drive and it's dad's movies I have folders inside that hard drive that I, uh, you know, organize to put it all together, music, movies, you know, things like that. So now I hit save and what's going to happen on my PC, uh, is that it's going to find all the 38 movies that I have here. And because I have the name spelled correctly on most of them, I'm going to get album artwork. And in case you're wondering, well, what's the speed like you're using USB 3.0 with these hard drives. And I'm telling you, it works great. And the best thing about Plex is that 
you can have the mobile app on your phone or you can go on any browser and open up Plex and no matter what format it's at, it could be MP4, it could be AVI, it could be MKV, anything you want and you'll get streaming and the quality is good and the speed is fast. I have a fast internet, I have a 30 megabytes per second or something like that so it's you know top tier Wi-Fi in my home through charter cable but uh, you know, I'm I'm sure you everybody these days has speeds like that with uh, with their cable provider. So here is all the movies now. It's getting all the metadata. It's uh, you know pulling this from the network drives. My son's Mac Mini doesn't have any USB hard drives or anything connected to it. It's all coming through my Wi-Fi in my home that is sitting up on a shelf. I got my Pogo plug on a shelf with a bunch of hard drives connected to it, and I'm using Plex. This is the best way to go because then when you open up your iOS app, all of those movies, no matter what format, they stream beautifully and they stream fast. So this is in my home, of course. So I'll just play like a movie here and I'll show you that there is no jitter, no, no delay, no lag, nothing like that. And they run very fast. Uh, they'll load right up and they'll start playing. And we have beautiful... I need a second in command, Arthur. I mean, this is a rip from a, a web rip. Whoever proves their excellence will earn a But believe me, me, if the quality is good, the yeah, speed no, is good. has offered to leave. And uh, I just wanted to show you that. Now, the other thing is, um, I mentioned in the video that if you wanted to use your Pogo plug away from your home, so say you have a Mac, uh, MacBook Pro, and you have no hard drives connected, and you take it with you. You have a Pogo plug at home, and you got these hard drives connected to it, and you got that backup software. Take a look at the other video, the free backup software. You can see your hard drives even on a remote location, a remote Wi-Fi. Say you're in Starbucks, and you open up your Mac, and you click on Finder, and you open it up. You're going to see your hard drives. That is incredible. I mean, I have worked with NASs that have nothing um, you know, like have nothing like this. You have to do some configuring just to get it to work. And here with Pogo Plug, a twenty dollar device, hook up your own hard drives to it, and you get perfect, perfect, uh, you know, use of it. So now I can access any of these hard drives anywhere that I go in. Um, you know, with the internet connection. Of course, my Mac, but Pro, you need a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, but even on my cell phone, if I use the app. I'll see my hard drives connected to it. So I wanted to follow up. There was a bunch of questions that people had. And uh, you can use Plex with it. So I just wanted to show you this video today. Uh, if there's any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll even do a third follow-up video uh, because I think this is a great device to have. 20 bucks. Can't beat it. Uh, go on eBay. You'll find them brand new. Series 4. Right on eBay. So use it with your Plex. Use it anywhere you got your hard drives just like if they're connected to your computer i hope this helped you i um have a nice day and i will see you on my next video thank you